What's up, YouTube? We just had a brand new update on Tapping Simulator, and this update was pretty huge. We got a bunch of new stuff, so I'm going to be showcasing everything new for you guys. Of course, I'm not going to be able to do everything because I don't have enough money, and not going to lie, uh, these worlds are a little bit expensive. But starting off, we have a brand new achievement, which is Tapping Ranks, which I think is a pretty cool feature. And at certain amounts of taps that you do, every two hours, uh, you can reclaim the uh, awards. So I'm currently Sensei rank, and for Sensei rank, I get 50,000 gems, a tap boost, and two triple tap boosts, which is pretty cool. It looks like this whole menu actually got a new update as well. It does look a lot different. So that's pretty sick. They did add in the uh, name tags again as well, but just with emojis now. So it's only going to show up as an emoji instead of the full length names for everything. It looks like we actually got two new worlds as well, which is, hold up, let me drop on the floor. We got the Coral Island, which I think is 80QI, at, no. 80 QA at the time of this recording, but it might have changed in price. And then we do have the, uh, no, it was 80 QI. I don't know why I said 80 QA. And then we have the Dark Heart Island, which is 600 QI, which I unfortunately cannot buy, but I will fly up to it to show you guys what the island looks like. This is the brand new island. You get a 70% world boost as well. We just have the basic upgrade shop up here. And then, of course, the brand new egg, which is 500 QI to actually go ahead and buy. I'm going to jump up to the uh, brand new island for you guys so I can showcase that island for you guys as well. Hopefully, they do end up nerfing the price of everything again because it is a little bit expensive, especially for me. And I'm a pay to win player and I still can't even afford these islands after grinding nights and nights. So I don't know how they made it for free to play players because you guys are definitely not going to be able to ever unlock this island or stuff like that. So hopefully it does get a little bit of a nerf. But uh, yeah, let's head up here. So this is the Dark Heart Island. Looking pretty sweet. Of course, we got the upgrade machines. We got the basic upgrades, uh, you know, shop, and then we do have the brand new egg as well, which is 100 QI, and that's pretty much why I'm not going to be able to do this update, because 100 QI, man, I, I legit can't even make that. Like, look at how slow I'm making 1 QI. Getting 100 QI just for one single egg is going to be quite a struggle to go ahead and do. Um, but yeah, and then in the store, we also got some new, uh, premium, like, exclusive pets. We have the Axolotl Prince for 1,750 stats. 23 of these exist. We got the Poseidon Valk, which 17 exist for 2,250 stats. And we got the Hydra Axolotl, which, uh, it looks like nobody has right now for 3,250 stats. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be the brand new update, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think about this new island and the new worlds and everything and the prices and all that good stuff. Sadly, I cannot really showcase any of the pets and stuff because, again, I don't have that much money. But do you guys want me to check out the brand new Mining Simulator 2 update as well for a video? The new summertime update? I've been thinking about doing videos on mining sim again, but I was just waiting for a super cool update. And it seems like this update was pretty huge for mining sim. So if you guys do want me to, let me know and I definitely will. But that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.